well, let's say we'll make it about 1.2 inches. I mean, basic. That's exactly what I want. All right, well, uh, what angle are you looking for here? Well, I want 45 degrees. Basic. That's exactly what I want, 45 degrees. All right, I guess I need to know the radius, too. Well, the radius is going to be a basic dimension, theoretically exact, of 750. Well, can you make that? Well, yeah, I could make that for you, but you have to give me some sort of tolerance. So the way we'll give you tolerance is we'll give it to you in a form of a profile tolerance. So what you get is you get a total wide zone that follows the exact contour on the surface. Now, where does that go there? Is it just this surface? Well, you see the part that's uncontrolled, it's really this whole surface, not really that important. So what they'll use is they'll use this between symbol. So between, that's this right here, between the point X and between point Y. So they'll label point X over here and they label point Y over here. So what you get then is you get a total wide zone that follows the exact contour on the part. And the total distance between that zone is 20 thousandths right there between those points. Now, how do you know it doesn't go on the bottom if you say between x and y? Oh, you mean how do you know that it goes this the way? zone, yeah. How do you know it doesn't go the other way? Well, you see where the arrow is pointing? So the oh, yeah, arrow yeah. is pointing mm -hmm. to this side, so we know it's on this side. If okay. the arrow was pointing back here, oh, yeah, then we okay. would know it on this side from point to now, Obviously, it wouldn't go on this side because that's where your datums are. Yeah. But the arrow shows you which side it's on. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to talk about that uh, profile a little bit more. So let me just uh, take some of this stuff off here. And you said you wanted a profile zone between points X and Y. So what it is, you see the basic dimension, just like it was for the position. The basic dimension locates the center of the tolerance zone. It gives you a total zone of 20 thousandths. So if some of you were to quickly convert that for somebody, it's kind of like saying 1.2 plus or minus what? Well, 20 thousand, so it'd be plus or minus 10. Plus or minus 10. Now, not exactly plus or minus 10, because remember, plus or minus 10, it really didn't tell you where to measure from. Do you start from the top? Do you measure from the bottom? Do you measure from this, this low point here? Do you measure from the high points? So now it's very clear that you measure from the datum reference frame and not from the actual feature. Yeah, so if we, if we have the part in here, you see it's in the datum reference frame. You see what you're doing is you're measuring from the datum reference frame. You're not measuring from the part. I mean, you see how that's cracked? There's gaps underneath here. So we're measuring from the datum reference frame. We're going to be measuring in this direction, and we're going to be measuring from the frame of reference. Because that's how we make the parts, too, right? I mean, machinist never cuts it from that bottom surface. He cuts it from the frame of reference, right, from the fence to stop. And that's where the machine travels from. That's where it knows it's zero. So if you had any dirt or chips, you'd have to clean them out and machine from, you know, the datum reference frame. Yeah, that's what I like about it. I mean, if you look at the, the tolerance zone for this right here, you know, you look at it and you say, okay, well, you know, I want to make this part. Well, what do you do? You, you put it into that frame of reference in there, and then you just start cutting. And this is exactly like a cutter would cut. I mean, a cutter would start to cut high, start to cut low. Just stay within the zone, stay within the lines when you make the parts. That's all profile is. Kind mm -hmm. of a, a neat way to specify tolerance rather than giving it some sort of angle tolerance here and then some sort of size tolerance here and then the radius and where's the tolerance on the center of the radius it never really said it was kind of unclear so now it is it's just like a total wide zone that follows the exact contour on the part like that so the machinist would just shoot for those basic dimensions right they would shoot exactly for those basic dimensions and then their tolerance where their tolerance is is that uh, number that's in the profile tolerance mm -hmm. oh, that's very good